What's going on everybody? Tyler back here with you and we got another video. Today we're going to be answering the question, is the bass guitar easy to play? Determining whether or not the bass guitar is easy to play is going to be different for everyone depending on how you define easy. Sometimes it might be hard in some areas and easy in other areas. It really just depends on who you are. Is bass guitar easy to play? Mentally, the bass guitar might be easier to play than the standard guitar. However, physically, I wouldn't really suggest that it is. You could say it's easy to play because there's less notes, there's less rhythms, which certainly is less to think about, which you could consider making this a little bit of an easier instrument to play. However, the whole instrument itself, including the strings and, and the size of the instrument is larger. So that's gonna play a physical task on you, whether it's from your fingers, it's in your wrist, or if it's on your shoulder from holding the bass all day. It's a bigger instrument, so it's not physically the easiest instrument to play. You're going to get sore from holding it. You're going to get sore from fingering it. When it comes down to starting the instrument from scratch, I'd have to say that there is an abundance of information on the internet, YouTube, uh, for you to be able to search and find all the information that you might be looking for to help you learn to play the bass guitar. There's great instructors on YouTube, such as Scott Devine with Scott's Bass Lessons. You've got Yannick Gwizdala and Yannick's Bass Studio. And then you've got people like Adam Neely who are doing more gig vlogs, but it's just you can't watch an Adam Neely video without becoming inspired and wanting to learn how to play the bass. Let me tell you some of my experience of why I ended up playing the bass instead of other instruments, and it's not because it's necessarily considered easy. I started playing the bass because in the town that I grew up in, which I still currently reside in, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, there is a guitar player, a piano player, and a drummer on every street corner. I wanted to be able to get into the scene a little bit sooner, so it was pretty apparent that there was a need in my area for bass players, good bass players, so that's why I decided to devote my time to playing the bass so that I could be able to pick up some of those gigs and, and, and pick up my musical experience and expedite that. So this led to me playing gigs with overall better musicians, which really helped me increase my musicianship. Being a bass player in which is high demand position, there were people definitely out of my level calling me to come perform gigs with them and it really just was able, I was able to see how the real true musicians were playing from an early age a little bit sooner. Playing with greater musicians is what made me overall better at music in general. And playing with musicians is what made me overall a better player. My best advice for anyone who's struggling with deciding if they're going to play the bass or any other instrument is to pick the instrument that you feel that you're going to have the greatest impact on. Sometimes we start playing music for selfish reasons. You see somebody playing a guitar solo and you think, wow, I that is so cool. I want to play guitar solos so that everyone thinks I'm cool. To me, that's not a, a good reason to pick an instrument. For me, I think the best reason you can pick an instrument is so that you can make music for others. To recap it all, pick an instrument that best suits you. Music isn't selfish. Play an instrument that you feel like you'll have the greatest impact on. 